All right, one of the things that I came up with myself is what I call the pure protein diet, okay? Um, you know, I've experimented with a lot of different diets uh, in the last couple of years, especially like the old school 70s bodybuilders diets. And um, you know, then after that, I started modifying them myself and coming up with my own variations. And one of them was the pure protein diet, where you basically eat mostly protein, a little bit of fat, and as few carbohydrates as possible. And a lot of people say that you know it's not going to work. And Vince Gironda, who is like one of my like diet um, inspirations, I tried out a lot of his diets before I broke off on my own to create my own diets. You know, they say that he always had people eating a lot of fat. Well, first of all, on his steak and eggs diet, okay, which is a fat loss diet, also called the mass defini max definition diet, what he had you do was eat quite a bit of fat, but it wasn't like the standard keto where you're eating like, you know, 75% fat and like 20% protein. He had you basically eating, when it comes down to it, like, 55% fat, 45% protein, maybe 60, 40, but it's somewhere around there. So it's already a relatively, for a low carb diet, relatively low fat, relatively high protein diet, okay? First of all. Now, another thing is check this out. I mentioned this paragraph before. It comes from Vince Gironda's book, Blueprint for the Bodybuilder. Check it out. Watch your calories, fat as well as carbohydrates. Cut your carbohydrates to a bare minimum. Use fat as a source of energy, but discontinue fats every so often and you will get a dramatic fat loss. Okay, and I, I, I did not even know Okay, I did not even see this paragraph. I never knew this book existed until like a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, so I didn't like steal the pure protein diet from him. But that's basically what I'm doing with the pure protein diet, okay? It's not a sustainable diet. It's not the kind of thing you're going to eat for the rest of your life. But if you are already fat adapted, your body is already burning fat for fuel, just like, you know, just like he said in there, you're supposed to be using uh, cut carbohydrates to bare minimum, use fat as fuel, okay? You, when you do that, your body is basically having to decide, okay, we have dietary fat coming in and we've got body fat. So it's kind of like, you know, eating a little bit of each, okay? Now, if you cut out the dietary fat or cut it down to say 30% of your caloric intake, all that's really left for your body to eat is your body fat, okay? You have less dietary fat coming in, which is the easiest fat to burn. Now it's like, damn, there's not a lot of the easy stuff to burn, so I'm gonna have to, when I'm done with that, I'm gonna have to burn the body fat, which, you know, it's a little bit harder, but hey, it's something to eat, right? And you're not going to be catabolizing your muscle. You're not gonna be cannibalizing your muscle because you're taking in such a high amount of protein, okay? So, um, you know, like I said, you could do this for a short amount of time. If you are trying to get really lean really quickly, you can do this for a short amount of time. If you're do trying to get very lean, okay, extremely lean, you can do this for a short amount of time. If you're overweight, the more fat you have on your body, the easier it is to burn body fat. That's why fat loss rates always slow down. So somebody who's really overweight, therefore it's easy to burn body fat, could stay on the pure protein diet and do what I have is like fat refeeds. You know, after a couple of weeks, you go five days pure protein, which is 70, 30 protein to fat. Then you might turn it around to like 60, 40 on the weekends, okay, to get some fat back into your body. Keep your calories down, you know, keep it within reason, not massive cheat days. But you might have a couple of days of eating normal amounts of fat and then go back during the week for another five days uh, of pure protein, like 70-30 protein to fat mix. And like I said, you'll, you'll be able to stay, if you're overweight, on this for a much longer time. It really depends upon the person, the goals, the situation, the body fat they have. But I just wanted to point out that Vince Gironda actually did, believe it or not, I didn't know it myself, say cut out fats every once in a while to get a dramatic fat loss.